Video blog number three. Waiting by William Ernest Henley. A square, squat room, a cellar on promotion. Drab to the soul, drab to the very daylight. Plasters astray in a natural looking tinware. Scissors and lint and apothecary's jars. Here, on a bench, a skeleton would writhe from. Angry and sore, I wait to be admitted. Wait till my heart is led upon my stomach. While at their ease, two dressers do their chores. One has a probe. It feels to me a crowbar. A small boy sniffs and shudders after blue stone. A poor old tramp explains his poor old ulcers. Life is, I think, a blunder and a shame. Okay, Henley what, um, had tuberculosis. And he had already lost his left leg years earlier. And so in order for him to keep his right leg, they were trying a new procedure. And... After this procedure, he was bedridden in a hospital for 20 months. So, um, I guess you and this is one of the poems that came from that time. It's where he wrote the majority of his poems. And you could say that during this time, he had become very depressed. Um, he's very descriptive in what he says. I mean, he talks about the room, everything it looks like, the color. He says it's very drab, so not somewhere you'd want to stay for a long time. Um, he notices just apothecary's jars, and, um, he listens to the other patients who are in the hospital. There's a little boy and an old tramp. And just, he ends this by saying, life is, I think, a blunder and a shame. Which can basically be translated to, he thought that life was a careless mistake and foolish, and that there was really no use for them to be there. Which I really think only adds to the thought that maybe he was depressed and he was ready to leave the hospital and he was kind of dreaming of that day but he wasn't really sure that it was ever going to come and so he kind of lost hope but I don't know I mean he eventually got out and like I said this is one of the po he wrote several poems and some of his best works came from this time